Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this little video, I'm going to take a look at an asset in the asset store called House of Color Green. Now, this one, I believe, is part of a selection of different houses, uh, but I'll get into that a little bit later on in this video. So the asset itself is somewhat simple, but I think it is really nicely designed, and having it as perhaps a background object would suit pretty much any game which looks after this style. So maybe it's something in the Costa del Sol, maybe something in a fantasy village, something like that. I think it'd fit in quite well. So quality wise, yeah, I think it's fairly decent. Quantity, we get exactly what it tells us. We get this. Now it does actually show us another one here, but this one is just a rotated version of this one house. And it does indeed say one house in the um, description and the title. So yeah, I, I think does exactly what it says. So that's all we get in terms of quantity. Nothing in the way of extras at all, but at least we get the demo scene that we are in right now. And uh, one thing I want to point out with this, going back to quality a little bit, this has that kind of unity look, if you understand what I mean, a bit plasticine-y, but it's still nice in terms of design. I mean, it looks great, but as I always say, add a little bit of post-processing and see what effects you can kind of come up with. Bit of post-processing there makes this look really stand out. It looks really, really nice. So just keep that in mind when you are looking at the quality of this. So how versatile is it? Not quite as versatile as I would like. So this object comes as one singular object. You, there's no inside, there's no outside, there's no multiple parts to it. It is indeed just one single object with a material on. So it isn't quite as versatile as I would like. You could still play around with it, I guess, a little bit, you know, change things around on the um, material. But I think when it comes down to it, it, it could have been better, but, you know, it's free. Speaking of free, let's get into the price and size. Like I say, it is free at the time of recording this video. Prices do change all the time, so just keep that in mind. Uh, file size is 12.4 meg, and I think that's pretty decent for what we get here. It's always nice to see assets keep themselves at a low size. So if this was, say, for example, 112 meg, then that'd be quite concerning. But because it's 12, I think that's good. Now, I mentioned earlier, I think it's part of a set. And if we go down, you can see that there are a couple of others from the same person. They are charged for. So if you come across this asset and you find it a couple of dollars, maybe check out their other assets to see if anything has changed to free there, because they may have done. But if you're prepared to pay um, for those, then I think that's fairly decent. Not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind when it comes to pricing, that this is probably part of a collection. Um, so how useful is this going to be? I would say fairly useful in terms of, like I say earlier, a background object. If you want some background props in terms of houses, yeah, I think this would do quite well. It's quite nice. Uh, folders all neatly laid out, good to see. Uh, obviously, I, I suppose in some ways you maybe don't need all them folders, but I, I do kind of like to see the folders laid out like that. Always keep things separate. It just gives you a sense of keeping everything together, sensible and uniform in your project. So that's why I do like to see folders neatly laid out. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. This one's a tough one, if I'm honest. Um, I think I probably would recommend it, but only for background. I don't think it's any use um, as an actual prop in a game simply because you can't get inside the village, but or I say village, inside the actual um, thing. But yeah, overall, I think it's pretty decent. So guys, have you tried this? If you have, let me know what you think. And if you've got an asset on the asset store as well, please let me know. And finally, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with everything I upload on game development. And guys, I'll see you around another video. Thank you very much for watching.